Hi everyone, I just want to do a quick little demo for um, basically gels. Uh, so polymer gels are something that we unfortunately won't be able to kind of cover in our MEC 202 course and in our Engine 45 course as well. But gels are really, 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 really cool materials. So they are basically can be, our chemically crossing can swell up to thousands and thousands of times their original uh, size because these kind of permanent crosslinks. So this is uh, sodium polyacrylate, as you can kind of see. This is a, uh, basically, this is a polymer gel material. So, I have water in this jar. Trust me, it's just pure water. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of water into here. So, this is water. It's a viscous fluid, so we should know that if I kind of shake this guy, shake it, shake it, shake it, it looks pretty viscous still. If I try to pour it out, it pours directly out. Now, just to kind of prove, uh, I know many of you don't doubt me, but in case you have some lingering doubts, this is my trusty, uh, not red chili peppers, but salt. So if I put a little bit of salt into this vial right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I should use my spatula. Actually, let me do that right now. Sorry, let me come right back. Now I'm back. So, with my spatula in hand, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. So let me go ahead and try to grab some. So I have a little bit of salt here. You can kind of see those. So I'm gonna put the salt into my vial. So you can kind of see it right there. And I'm gonna pour my water. So let me do my shaking once again. And see, still looks pretty, you know, viscous, or not too viscous. So let's see if, it, if I can pour it out. And when I pour it out, nothing happens. So I'm gonna wash this real quick. Again, I promise you, I haven't done anything strange to this. <laughs> so what would happen though, if I took the same amount of this sodium polyacrylate, you know, this polymer gel. So let me take some out. Same amount, roughly. No tricks. Polymers are tricky enough. I'm not going to play around. Let's get this, this angle right. Right there. So I'm gonna put it into my vial again. So again, pretty similar looking, right? Let's put just a little bit of water in to start off with. It's not a little, it's quite a bit. So I wanna just, looks pretty viscous at this point. I'm just gonna shake it up. But you start to kind of see what's happening on the side there. That previous, what was like the, it's the crystals, they're not, they, they don't look like they're in solution anymore. They look like they're swelling up pretty nicely. So let me shake it again, a little bit more. Just wanna get all of them wet, so. Make sure every little crystal there is just fine. So, look at my solution. It's like, it has, it, it's not cold in here. I haven't solidified or done any ice tricks, but watch. Nothing's pouring out. And it's not just because it stopped here. Here, I'm gonna get these guys. Get out of here. Look at what's happened here. Those little particles have swollen up 10,000, you know, thousands of times the original size. Here, let me kind of swirl this around and get it in there. So again, now you can just kind of see open again, but if I flip, nothing. Amazing. Let's fill up some more water. Let's see how much it can absorb. Whoops. Pour it a little bit over. Pour it a little bit out. Let me shake again. Shake, shake, shake. But, so you can see, let me, again, for those of you maybe doubting my polymer magic, <laughs> I even took some out. Nothing. So, what's happening here? The, the water is basically, uh, this is a, you'll see, uh, the structure of this polymer is negative. 
uh, basically they don't want, you know, as you swell up that polymer, those uh, particles want to kind of swell up and move far away as possible. But what happens when I put salt? Let me add, I'm going to have to add quite a bit of salt. So, I'm trying to put some salt in this solution. What happens to my material? So, we just said that the polymer is negatively charged. So when I introduce the water, the polymer can kind of just basically, it allows, it soaks up the water and it wants to kind of separate. Those negative charges don't want to touch. Touch. So let me add more salt. I'm just packing this guy. Probably don't need this much for effect, but it's okay. I've got salt to spare. Add a little bit of water to this guy. I know this is messy, but oops. Palmer science can get a little bit s, and I'm gonna clean it afterwards. <laughs> All right, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm just trying to mix the salt into this gel. And take a little bit of time. Diffusion. Palmer dynamics. Everyone's favorite subject. Kinetics. Sam Allen's kinetics textbook. Can't emphasize that enough. Let's see. So let's see what starts to happen now. Actually, let me go more a little. One more little mix. A little bit extra salt there. Sorry, I'm just giving it a little mix on the side. Shake it one more time. So, let's give it one more mix. But you can even start to see it now in the solution. You know this is messy. So, uh-oh, you can kind of start to see what's happening. I've added salt, and it's gone. What happened here? Well, as I added salt, it screened those negative charges. So it reduces, again, the enthalpic uh, and entropy, you know, again, energy balance, enthalpy versus entropy. It reduced that kind of negative charges uh, wanting to kind of push each other apart. So positive charges were placed in between them so they could get closer, so they deswell effectively. Awesome. Super cool thermodynamics of polymers, as always, in Mecto 2. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I've got to clean up, but I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.